Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here, and I gotta tell you, I've drawn a lot of bears in my time. You know, I directed the film Brother Bear for Disney, and right now I'm creating an animated short called Snow Bear, starring a polar bear. Well, I've also created a course on my website on how to draw bears. And for a limited time, if you go on over and sign up for our newsletter, you can get that course for absolutely free. The course covers everything you need to know about drawing bears from their anatomy to their textures and everything in between. We'll start with the basics of bear anatomy, including their skeletal structure, muscle groups, and proportions. This is essential because it lays the foundation for all the other skills you're gonna need to master. Next, we'll dive into the details of bear features, including the face, paws, claws, and fur. I'll show you how to create realistic textures and use shading and lighting to bring your bears to life. Throughout the course, I share my tips and tricks for drawing bears that are both accurate and expressive. You'll learn how to convey different emotions and poses and how to add personality to your drawings. I'm gonna teach you how to draw all eight species of bears found worldwide and their cubs. And of course, there's plenty of practice exercises and examples to help you master these skills. By the end of the course, you're gonna be able to draw bears like a pro. Our newsletter at Creature Art Teacher is getting a major upgrade. We're adding new exclusive articles on animation and art that you won't find anywhere else. By signing up for the newsletter, you'll also be the first to know about any new courses or special offers we have available. Plus, you'll get access to tips and tricks from some of the most experienced and talented artists in the industry. Our teachers are the real stars of Creature Art Teacher. These are the same artists who have worked on some of the biggest animated films in history, and they're sharing their insights and techniques with you. By signing up for the newsletter, you'll get access to their exclusive tips and tricks that you can apply to your own artwork. So head on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com and sign up for our newsletter. And in the meantime, enjoy this sneak peek of my course, How to Draw Bears. Okay, so in this video, uh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna draw a little bear cubs. And so I figured I'd pick out a couple of species and we could just have some fun drawing cubs and, um, and draw them cute and all that kind of stuff. So this, is a, this will be a fun little one. Why don't, we start with, um, why don't we start with grizzly bear cubs? We'll just go in the same order as the videos that we've done already. And uh, the thing I want you to know about, I mean, to, to remember about doing cubs or any small animal for that matter, and, and that includes babies. And you, some of you may have seen some of my lectures on how to draw cute. And that is there, there are cute proportions and, you know, baby proportions where the head is big, is bigger, you know, in relation to the body and where the eye line is, is in relation to the rest of the, the head and, and, uh, features tend to be, uh, shorter and stubbier and sweeter and, you know, and squishier and all that kind of stuff. And that triggers a response in us. Um, to want to nurture. That's what nature has done. Nature has trained our brains that when we see these proportions, we want to hold them and cuddle them and nurture them. That's why babies, all babies, you know, are, are in these proportions. And that's why when you see a puppy that has the same proportions as a human baby, you just want to go, oh, and you just want to take care of it. And, uh, and so bears have the same thing. They're just super cute. And um, why don't we go ahead and dive in? Why don't we start with, like I said, we'll start with a grizzly bear. And, you know, they've got, they've got the big head, a big head. Let's see, how do I, what do I want to do here? And these little, just a little snout. Now, obviously they're going to, their proportions are going to change as they get older. I'm doing younger cubs today. That's what I'm going to focus on. So I want to do younger cubs just like that. And already you can feel that, that cuteness coming through. You 
it's almost cartoony. You know, they're almost they're almost cartoony in the way that they uh, that they're built. But they have little necks. You know, a little neck come down, comes down, and grizzly cubs. They've got they've got these little uh, they've got like a little white collar that goes around their their body. We'll get their little pelvis. Just like so. I like to rough them in. And I might, you know, I sometimes I might I tend to maybe disnif disnify them a little bit. You know, I'll put I'll put I like to push the cuteness. But the thing to remember is, you know, look at the size of that head compared to the body. There's like three heads. Uh, the body is like three heads. And um, the size of the eyes in relation to the head, are, are they're bigger. I'm going to reverse this too. There, I want to enlarge that eye just a little bit. Maybe bring this one in just a little bit. And notice the nose is smaller. The, another big one is that, you know, the length of that snout is really short. And also look at, you know, look at the length. Of the of the legs, the feet. They're very very short. And little hands, just like babies have, you know. That little pelvis is going to come in. We can have him sitting. You know, maybe his foot is underneath. Maybe the other foot is sticking out. There we go. Like so. Get that little belly in there. But note it's just it's getting those proportions right. When you can get the proportions right, then there, just that little mouth in there. And I still like to find the center line. Get those little brows in there. There. And like I said, you get a little bit of a kind of this blonde collar that goes around on a grizzly bear. So this is a young one. This is a little young guy right here. Get the little foot there, a foot, foot. I'll actually flatten out that heel. There we go. And their claws aren't going to be as developed. Their claws are shorter than adults, so therefore, young grizzlies have the ability to climb trees. You know, adult grizzlies, their claws get so long they can't dig into the. I know it seems weird that. With long claws, you'd think that they would be able to, but they can't. They can't get a grip on the trees. The claws actually get in the way, and so um, the, as a result, they can't really climb climb trees. But young grizzlies, they do have the ability to climb a tree, and uh, and so do black bears, adult black bears, and uh, and young black bears, and they tend to be pretty shaggy. These little guys. So I'll just get them kind of shaggy. I'm going to shore up this foot a little bit. There we go, just like that. So there, so this, I just roughed in very quickly, you know, a grizzly bear cub. Look at those proportions. The ears are going to be a little bit bigger. In proportion than to a than uh, an adult. There we go. There. I'm gonna lighten that up.
but just like just like adults they'll have the little break there you know that's where the nasal cavity is There, the little nose, it's like a miniature version, obviously, of the adult. Just like that. They're so cute. I've had the, I've had the, uh, the privilege of playing with little grizzly bears when we were doing, uh, when we were making uh, Brother Bear, a Disney animated movie that I, I co-directed, um, we brought in some young grizzlies. You know, if you've ever seen the movie, in the movie there we have a young grizzly named Coda. And, uh, and he's super cute. And, um, and uh, so we thought it would be good to, you know, bring into the studio some young grizzly bears. And I'll tell you, even though they're small, they're built like little, like, like cement they're just indestructible <laughs> and uh they were they were quite a handful they were a lot of fun they were a lot of fun but they tore us up get those eye all those eyes in there cute little eyes and they got the eyelids There we go. Same thing over here. And their fur, their fur is like, it's like wool. And, but it, what was so interesting was that, you know, even though, like I said, these guys are just little, little cubs, um, we'd go to pet them and they were solid. They were like little rocks. Underneath their, underneath their fur, they were just so solid, these little grizzly cubs. There, and all, just like the, on, the, on the adults, all that fur kind of goes out. It all kind of goes out this way. This is a young one. And I've, I've I'll admit, you know, I've kind of pushed the appeal on him a little bit but you know this is this is this is what they look like I've just pushed it a little I couldn't resist I got a lot of shag in the front and like I said there's that this white collar that kind of comes around and if you watch if you ever watch Brother Bear, the movie that we created at, at Disney, um, you'll see little Coda, who's the, the little bear cub in the movie, he's got that little collar that goes around his neck. There we go. All that fur coming off the neck and off of his little shoulder blades. He's got the little start of a hump there, just like an adult grizzly does, has. And even as little cubs, they've got the start of it. And I did do a little cheat. I'm going to erase this. The hair doesn't grow that way. That's us. That, that's me doing a Disney, Disney thing on him. <laughs> that hair always grows back like this. There we go. A lot of times, you know, Disney will, when we're designing our characters, will bring that hair kind of going forward like that. It gives them a little bit of a human quality. And that was just a habit. That was a habit breaking through on me. There we go. There. 
Little bear cubs. They're, they're really fun to draw. And once again, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do a whole lot on the bear cubs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a few. I'll hit the, you know, a couple of species. But it's really just, it's everything you've learned about the bears and then just kind of give them little child proportions. That's the key to drawing cubs. And they have little hands. You know, little, just like any other kid, you know, any human kid, little claws. There, just like that. Give him a fat little belly there. Thigh muscle comes around. All the same parts, just less developed. Just like that. And give him his little toes. One two, three, four, and five. There. There we go. Let's do the same thing here. Same kind of pad as an adult. One, two, three, four, five. A little claw on top. There. So there's there's our little grizzly bear cub. Yeah, just like that. Why don't we give them a little color? Sometimes it can be a little lighter, you know, but they can vary. They can be, they can be somewhat dark, the grizzly, the grizzly cubs. I've seen them, uh, I've seen them in the wild quite a bit. And uh, it's always a little scary, you know, when you have an encounter with a, a mother with cubs, you know, you want to make sure you're in the, you're not too close or too threatening looking. I had this encounter when up in Denali, Alaska, Denali National Park, where we walked up on a mother grizzly and she had two cubs and she didn't like us being there. She huffed at us and I thought for sure she might charge, but she didn't. We lucked out. She went one way and we went the other. There we go. I love drawing cubs. They're just, they're so cute. They're so stinking cute. There we go. Let's go ahead and lock that. We'll play with some of this color. Let's lighten up that muzzle and gray it out a little bit. I'm going to change the brush. Let that fade out. Fade out. There, just like that. And we'll also get kind of this this blonde little 
collar right there that the little those little cubs have get that nose there we go and their eyes tend to be kind of dark and we'll get I'm gonna get sky and everything reflected in just a sec and we'll get a little darkness we get a little darkness sometimes right around the eye and just let that come out and we'll get varying there we go. There. There we go. Just like that. Do a little thing on top where we can get a little reflection in that eye. There. We'll heat it up right there. There we go. Let's throw some shadow on there. Just real quick. There. I love drawing these little guys. When you get when you get the proportions just right, they just they just ooze cuteness. shadow there there that all feels pretty good I have a little shadow coming back this way he's casting a little shadow his head's casting a little shadow right there There we go. Get this nice and dark down in here. This is in shadow. There. There we go. Our little bear cub. Fun to draw. Let's try an overlay. Let's just see what we get with an overlay. And give them a little texture.
a little fur texture growing out. Oh, they're so cute. We'll get this growing out this way. There we go. Down here, I think I forgot. Oops. Want to get a little bit more shadow in there. There we go. Just wanted to get a little bit. There. feel pretty good all of this lots of fur texture in there this texture looks like stripes it doesn't look like fur don't rush it. That's the key. Don't rush it. There. Let's have a little bit of fur growing out there. There we go. Got a little grizzly cub. And we'll just get a couple of little, maybe just a couple of little highlights. Bring this down here, catch a little bit of, maybe a few hairs are catching some light, a little bit brighter light up in here. A little bit there, a little bit there. There we go. We can leave it at that. I just want to go a little, want to go a little cooler on that foot pad oh, wrong layer there we go there we go there there's a little grizzly cub there he is that feels pretty good so why don't we put him off to the side there's a little guy there and let's do uh, let's do uh, polar bear cub cubs. Polar bear cubs are super cute. One of the things their proportions are pretty much the same as what we just drew. Maybe their their nose is a little more stumpy, and their ears are much smaller. That's the thing to remember because I th I think it's an adaptation because of the cold, and you know ears and things like that are are susceptible to cold. So their ears are going to be smaller, so they're not as exposed. That's uh, at least that's my that was my logic behind why they have smaller ears. But let's go ahead and get in here and draw. And once again, they're I'm going to blow this up a bit. I'm 
you know, their, their proportions are such that they've got these really cute eyes. Big head. This all comes down to these little, this little tiny nose. And once again, I think that's because of the cold too. So they got these little muzzles, tiny little things. And I would recommend, you know, beyond what I'm showing you here, do some more research too, because I could do a whole video series just on the Cubs. This comes out. I'm going to pull this in just a little bit because what happens really is it gets wider back here and then this kind of comes in. Right in here, like so. And you got these little ears. Little ears and little ears. Just like that. And these little, little tiny, tiny proportions on their, on their, uh, on their arms. Actually, I want to pull this. I, this is something I do all the time. I tend to draw that out too far. There we go. So here it comes down. You got these little shoulders. And if you try to animate them, they've just got these tiny little steps that they do. They're, they're really fun to animate. Give him a little, bring his little foot up in the air. And just like their parents, they got these big furry, big compared to their body feet. We got a little foot there. See how that short that foot is? I'm going to draw this little belly coming around. A cute little belly. Maybe the other foot in here. And a little paw. Just like that. You might see a little bit of There, but see how see how short and cute and stumpy and all of that, all the all the parts are. They are just like that. That's the thing. That's the key. Stay, stay. You know, stay with these proportions. These cute little baby proportions, and you'll end up with some really cute results. Your noses are so dark you can't even see the little nostrils. And then just like on the mom and dad, they they have this kind of gray area in here. There we go.
There we go. Little bear cub. Little uh, black or black. Little polar bear cubs. There we go. Really cute proportions. That's the key. I want to make sure I get all this <laughs> fur on the head. And these cute little ears, make sure they stay small. Let's tighten it up. Get these cute little eyes. There. There we go. That's the beauty of doing these cubs is that, you know, drawing a real cub and drawing a cartoon cub, they're not that far from each other. They're so, they're already so stinking cute. You don't have to caricature them very much. If at all. There we go. There. Bear cubs are fun. Cute. And, you know, what another fun thing to do with them you know thinking about those proportions is just to sit there and just do a whole bunch of little thumbnail sketches little gestural drawings but using those proportions and try different poses and you'll come up with some really sweet cute <clears throat> situations with them there we go These are young cubs. These are fresh, fresh right out of the den. You know, polar bears, um, contrary, you know, contrary to the, what other bears do, you know, most other bears, you get to winter time and, you know, that's, that's the, that's the lean times, you know, that's the time that they, they can't get as much food. And so they've evolved this ability to go into the den and, you know, basically sleep for six or seven months. They don't really hibernate, but they do bring their, their uh, you know, the whole idea of bears hibernating is a, it's a myth. They don't hibernate, but they are able to bring their, their metabolism way, way down to almost a hibernation, but it's not quite. And, um, and so, you know, that's their adaptation for dealing with winter. Whereas polar bears, it's the summertime that is their lean time. You know, polar bears have adapted lives of living out, out on the ice. And so, you know, in, in the Arctic, the ice pack is at its, at its thickest, you know, and at its fullest, you know, in, in, during the winter. And so in the summertime, that ice melts and it breaks up and they're forced to come onto land. And other than eating some, you know, some plant material here and there, or the occasional dead whale washed up on shore or, Maybe they might be able to get a walrus here or there. They don't really get much to eat. And it's not until that ice freezes over that polar bears are able to go out onto the pack ice and hunt their favorite food, which are seals. Now, so therefore, polar bears don't really, they don't hibernate. They don't den up, except for mothers. So the mothers will den up and they'll go in for several months 
while you know to give birth and and basically lay there until the until the cubs are old enough to kind of move around on their own and so this is about what they look like a lot of times when they come out of the den it's about this age but that's really the only time you'll see a a polar bear inside a den for any amount of time that's the mother with cubs you know the big males they um they just kind of wander the ice and wander the land and they're nomads and they wander perpetually and you know the only time they really come across other bears or interact with other bears is one when they have to come onto land a lot of times they're forced into close quarters especially in a uh, in uh, Churchill, Manitoba, there's a, that's a place where you know the bears really congregate quite a bit there. And then, um, but also when they, you know, when they're looking for females, when they're looking to to reproduce and mate, then they'll, you know, they'll they'll find a female, and, and that's you know, they'll, a lot of times they'll track them for miles and miles until they until they give in. Um, so. Polar bears are different than other bears in that sense. I mean, obviously, they're different in a lot of ways if you just look at them. But from a typical, you know, the everybody knows bears hibernate kind of thing. Well, not, not polar bears. They don't hibernate. There we go. Look at that little fur ball. He's just a little fur ball. More motorcycle sounds, sorry. There we go. And he's got one more toe over there. There. And they're really, you know, as is as with all baby animals, you know, they don't have their coordination yet. And to see little bears walking around, they're like little human toddlers. They're always stumbling and tripping and falling and and it's just it's the cutest thing. It's really, really cute. There we go. Get those little Trying to indicate very roughly those little claws back there. Two, three, four, There we go. There. There's our little our little polar bear now. You can see the difference. This one's probably a little younger. I think he's a little younger than our, our guy over here. They're pretty close in age. But let's go ahead, just like we did with him, let's go ahead and color him in. And they're so white. That's the thing about you know young polar bears, especially when they first come out of the den. They haven't. They're still brand new. It's like a it's like a shiny new, you know they've got a shiny new coat, and they haven't had a chance to really get it mucked up or dirty and all that. So they're just beautiful and pristine and perfect. There. 
There we go. Look at that little guy. There. We'll give him just a little bit of get a little bit of yellowing here and there and some of their fur just a touch but they're still really really clean looking there let's give them a little bit of color here and Maybe just a touch there. That's it. Give him a little shadow. Shadow will tend to be a little warmer sometimes. I'm going cool with it. But it'll be a little warmer sometimes because it's bounced. It's going to be bouncing. You know, there's so much bounced light with the snow. That light underneath is, uh, or the light from the snow will bounce up and kind of light up the shadows a little bit. So the shadows don't get really super harsh. There we go. There's our little guy. There we go. Bring that around. There. Let's give him a little sunlight. See how that looks. Yeah. There we go. A little bit of sunlight where you might catch some light, you know, from the sun over on the right side here. Just light them up. There. Cute little guy. There we go. Warm him right up. There, just like that. Maybe two, he's got, just like the other guy, Got a little bit of sky reflected in his eyes. More cars, sorry. I like reflecting that blue sky in their eyes. Get a little bit of that on his nose. There we go. A little reflection there. There, there's our little our little polar bear cub. Actually, let me jump down here. Want to get these that foot. There we go. And a little bit of fur texture. There we go. Nothing to it. Polar bear cub. Notice the proportions. I'm just going to keep pounding that. That's the biggest difference. It's just proportions. And uh, 
and just having fun with that. Let's move him up here. There's that. Let's do a uh, let's do a black bear cub. Black bear cubs. Let's see here. Black bear cubs can climb trees. So I'm going to take our our guy here. Let's move him down here. Move him right out of the way. And let's take uh, here and let's just go ahead and draw a black bear. And I want to draw him in a tree. They, you know, at the first sign of danger, you know, first of all, black bears, they tend to be more dense forest uh, animals. Um, grizzlies tend to be more open country. Polar bears, obviously, there's no trees. And so uh, black bears, they tend to be more dense, deciduous forest. And when they get threatened, the first thing the cubs do is go up a tree. That's the, that's the very first thing. So let's, um, let's draw a tree. Let me change my, oh, I like that brush. Okay. I thought I had a different brush. Let's, uh, I'll just, there we go. There's a tree. Let's draw a bear in a tree. There we go. So I'm going to have him here. No. There we go. Just like that. Maybe he's looking off towards the danger. Little stumpy, little stumpy nose. Now remember, black bears, they've got the big ears, right? So we want to make sure that his ears are big enough. Just like that. I want to get this kind of feel coming back. Little arms. I want to get that leg tucked way up. There we go. Maybe this arm's reaching up a little bit like that. Hold on, Dustin. I gotta blow something up here. So then we'll get the eyes in here. There. Maybe a little scared looking. Mm -hmm. There we go. The great thing about drawing cubs or any young animal for that matter is that, you know, you, you can keep your shapes really simple. There's no matter of fact, the simpler you keep your shapes, the more young that animal will feel. We're going to get those little claws stuck in the tree here. I want to do some drawing. There. Just like that. There we go. So there's the rough. See how quickly we're able to do that? Oh, we scared.
They tend to have a little darkness around their eyes as well. I'm going to flip that around. There. I always I always like to flip my drawings just to make sure we're looking we're looking right. I'm going to give them a little bit more a little more cranium up on top just to make them feel a little younger. There we go. There. So that's pretty much it. There's there's not a whole lot we have to do with that. We you know this is a little guy up in the tree, and I like doing the overlap on the on this arm right here. That way it indicates okay he's he's not just sitting behind it. You know, I like to do that kind of as much as possible. That kind of overlap. There we go. And then let's go ahead and tie him down. You know, so I mean, we're basically just take the adult features on any of the bears and give them these childlike proportions, and you'll be right in the pocket for doing young, a young bear or young any animal for that matter. It's just understanding how those proportions change. And luckily, the good thing is with bears, there's not a lot of coloration change from adult, from, from young to adult. You know, in some, in some animals, you know, there's a big change, you know, from, you know, like a deer. A deer is, you know, much more reddish in color and, and uh, spotted. And, you know, that's all for camouflage. So their coat, their everything is completely different. There we go. There, get that little muzzle in there. There we go. There. I always like getting those eyes colored in because it gives them gives them a little life. Drawing that fur grows out, radiates out. There we go. There. That shoulder is coming up here. That arm is reaching up. There we go. We're getting a lot of fur kind of bunched up right here because he's turning his head. fur is growing this way just like on the adult the fur direction doesn't change it all stays the same there we go We 
we'll get one more toe in there. There we go. Let that fur just grow right over. Right off the back. Little scruffy guy. There. Got that shoulder blade in there. We'll get a little bunching of, you know, you're going to get a little bit of bunching of fur and flesh and fat and stuff like that up in here. Let's get these ears. There we go. There's that knee, thigh. And this calf is going to come up in here. Just like that. And his little foot is back here behind the tree. There. get this tree kind of roughed in. We're not going to spend a lot of time on the tree. That's not the important part. Draw some tree bark in very quickly. It's up maybe up on the pine tree. I'm thinking about pine tree bark. It's got those square rectangular pieces to it. Let's just let that fade off a little bit. There we go. That's about all we need. There. Let's get him colored in. Nice and dark. Now, just like just like their their adult parents, you know, uh, black bear cubs, they can be you know they're not always necessarily black. They can be you know as as light as blonde and and everything in between. So, chocolate brown, ink black, almost white. You know, if they've got a recessive gene. There we go. There. Let's get that muzzle right about that color, I think. And just like their parents, it's going to be a little darker on top. Actually, I'm going to change brushes. There. 
there. It's like that. And they have, they can have the little, right on their brow, that little teardrop shape, just like that. There. There's our little black bear, just like that. Look how similar they are when they're young. They are so similar. And that's, you know, most babies, you look at human babies, um, they basically all look the same. You know, if you could, from one race to the next, they might look a little different, but they all, they all feel like they're just, they all came from the same mother. So many of them, they're so similar. That's the thing, when they, when they first come out, they've, they've all got these same proportions. And, and it's, you know, that's nature getting them, you know, prepped from a look standpoint for us to go, oh, like I said earlier. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Give them a little bit of shadow. Let's go, let's go blue with it. Getting a little modeling in there. Getting some texture, getting some texture. There we go. There we go. Having fun. Let's put a little shadow right here. Maybe coming off that muzzle. We'll get all this in shadow. dark around his eyes. There we go.
bear, our little black bear. I'm not going to hit the highlights. I don't think we need them. I'm just going to leave it with the shadows. There we go. A little fur texture coming in. There, there's a black bear. Just like that. Actually, I'm just going to leave him the same size and just move him right over here. There. So there's three cubs. Let's, um, what the heck? Why don't we do one more? Uh, let's do a panda. Pandas are stinking cute when they're babies. <laughs> they're really cute. Let's see here. Um, Again, same thing. Remember I showed you the shape on the adult pandas? Well, the babies have even more of that shape. And it's really pushed. They got their little eyes down here. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm laughing already I just think they're they're the they're the cutest little and they look like they're smiling all the time bigger ears up here there we go and they're just a big ball of fluff I'm going to actually, I want to shrink up his body even more. I'm going to make him a little younger. Just a touch. Let's shrink the whole thing up a little bit. There he is. He's probably a little older, <laughs> but I'm going to roll with it. I like this little guy. There's a little tail. A little tail sticks out right there. There. So notice how I draw very roughly. I want to get this nice clean shape so that he feels like he's sitting. And then we get that direction right there. See? So you get that nice feel that he's sitting. And on the young ones, you can see the whites of their eyes sometimes. And they look, <laughs> sometimes they look a little cross-eyed. We'll just rough that in. There. I'm 
you get a nice sense of the patterning on him. There's that. We'll let this kind of fade out. There's our little, our little panda, our little panda cub. Done really quickly. But notice I was just changing proportions. Actually, I want to bring this elbow out. There. There, there we go. So when we knock that back, now let's have some fun tying them down. Done very quick. Let's get in here and have some fun with these eyes. There we go. <laughs> Looks like a Disney character. I love drawing these guys. Big eyes. <laughs> there. Bring this out. Lots of fur. They're very, very furry. This will be our last one. Um, and as far as, you know, if you want to get out there, and I love how the, all the fur on these little guys, it all just kind of radiates out. They're so fluffy. They're so fluffy. Little panda bear cubs. They're just, <laughs> they're cute. They're the cutest thing. And they are super, super playful. They still got the little hump there, just like their parents, just like the adults. Right there on the top of the nose. There we go. There we go. There. We get that little smile in there. Panda cubs are fun. They're cute. So take those adult proportions. That's all I'm doing. I take those, you know, I, I look at I look at young ones. I study them, you know, before I start drawing, obviously. But then it, it really is just 
really taking those adult proportions and uh, I'm gonna get really shaggy up here and giving you know changing them to baby proportions cute proportions there look at this little guy Get that shape, you know, that squashed pear shape. These ears, little shaggy ears. There. See how cute? Just have so much fun with this. Give them some little pupils, little pupils. I'm not sure how much you really see them, but I think you see them a little bit. Same thing, really shaggy body. I'm gonna move through this pretty quickly. There we go. So here's the shoulder. Coming down the upper arm is up here. Right down into his little forearm. There's his wrist. And the hand down in there. There. There's a little tail. They kind of fold under when they sit on their butt. They've got their tail sticks out. There we go. We'll just go through this quickly. There he is. There's our little guy. There. That little thumb over there, remember he's got the little pseudo thumb. Actually, let's paint, let's do his white, do him white first. There we go. Just lots of, lots of fun baby proportions and you can come up with so many different poses. And uh, there we go. I'll just go feed right up into there. You know, that's, that's one of my challenges to you is, is um, when you're working on this, and if you're specifically wanting to learn more, you know, baby bears, then I would suggest trying to uh, um, just 
look if you can see find them at a zoo definitely go to a zoo if not really look them up and look at all the different poses because there's so many different poses to be found all right let's jump over to the dark colors now thing I love about pandas when you draw pandas is you know you, you once you get this pattern in oh it's a panda yeah that's it you don't have to do a whole lot to it it's a panda there we go there that fur going out there it's so much fun these guys are oh, I know I said it over and over again they're so cute they're fun to draw so once again I didn't really do anything that different that I did from the other bears. I just, I made sure that the baby proportions I gave to this guy were based on an adult panda. You know, adult pandas are different than adult polar bears or grizzly bears or anything like that. So you wanna make sure you're basing them on the right, you have the right inspiration, you know. Yeah, let's, I'm gonna do this. Jump on top. <laughs> there he goes. Want to get that nose. Maybe that lip a little bit. There. Let's do a little, whoops, we'll do a little thing on top or we'll get a little, you know, my, my trademark, it's not my trademark, everybody does this. I want to get a little bit of, a little bit of blue reflected in that, in those eyes. Get them nice and glossy, nice and glassy looking. He's so cute. There's our little panda. I'm gonna try to give him a little shadow. Casting a shadow there. There we go. So cute. Doing this really quick. All oh, this is casting shadow. There we go. It's amazing what a little shadow can do. Yeah, I'm just skipping over the toes. We all know that we know how to draw those toes. Yeah. <laughs> 
There you go. Yeah. There we go. That kind of goes under. There. <laughs> Can't resist this little guy. So there. Here's our little panda. And that's how you draw bear cubs. Bear cubs are, you know, like I said, you know, adhere to those cute proportions. The big head, the higher forehead. Uh, you know, as far as where the eyes are in relation to the to the rest of the head, um, smaller, stubbier limbs. The head is big in proportion to the rest of the body. All those those types of proportions aid in the cuteness and are what you're going to find in baby bears and baby and you know bear cubs. There we go. So there's our little guy there. <laughs> there he is. All right, so that's bear cubs. Um, we've got one more video and um, we have reached the end. So, um, I want to talk just a little bit about some of the rest of the bears from around the world. We got four more species. I think it's an Asiatic black bear. We've got a spectacled bear. We got a sun bear and we got a sloth bear. So those are the other four that I want to talk about. I'm just going to talk about them briefly, maybe do a quick drawing. Um, but they're, you know, they're, they're not quite as common, uh, at least to, for me here in the United States. Um, but, um, you know, and some of you might not be as familiar with them as well, but uh, I figured, you know, if we're doing a bear course, then let's cover all the bears. So why don't we move on to the next video, the last video.